and now this document snapshot contains the data of this particular document that is identified based on the UID of the particular user that means these data are present in this document snapshot and we can verify that by logging by the logging this data so log d and i'm just going to get the data so okay so it's just going to give that so we can see this tag is in the error or in the red so i'm just going to give the uh you know codes for that and now here i need to check what kind of uh, what kind of user it is okay so identity okay so here i'm going to identify if the user is admin or normal user so to identify if the user is admin i can just check this field that is present into the firestore that is this admin if ad is admin field is present here that means user is probably admin and if user if user or is user field is present in this particular uh, document here that means user is normal user okay so that is the primary uh, you can say algorithm that we use or the field that we use to identify the access level of the user and in the similar way you can give different label here to identify uh, to assign the different kind of access level to the user and based on that you can perform the different operations so here i'm going to check is admin field is not null okay so that means if is admin field is present the user is admin and what we can do is we can send them to the uh, admin activity okay so i'll start the new activity new intent similarly get application context and send to the admin dot class okay and finish this activity and if the case is that if the uh, in another case that means if is admin is null that probably means the user is a normal user okay so what we can do is either we can check directly here using the document snapshot get string is user or we can just add the else condition there so it's a similar thing but for your better understanding i'm just going to create new block of if if statement here okay and i'm gonna do the same thing except that i'm going to send the user to the main activity okay so this is how we identify if the user is admin or not okay so yeah and you can see that i have added this is admin manually here and is user is added uh, automatically because most of the user that registered into our application is normal user and if you want to make any of them admin then you can add the you can modify the field to add the is admin here okay so this is the way that we uh, add the access level actually, actually this is the way that i add a different level of access level to the user but i don't know as i said there might be another way to do it or better way to do it so you just have to do your research okay so I, if you found it just let me know in the comment okay i'm not saying that i have to be right in this because i don't know much about the access level things and everything i just like to implement things in my own way so this is how i have implemented it and i hope this is the way of doing it okay uh here in the main activity what i'm gonna do is we have this logout button but i have not implemented it so first i'm going to implement this logout and we'll run this application to see if this login thing actually work or not okay so let me go here button logout okay sorry that should be logout button okay and now i'm going to add the on click listener and to log out the user we can just call the get instance and we can just sign out the user and when the user sign out we'll send them to the login activity
I'll just finish this. All right. So let's run this application and see all these things that we have added is working or not. So here I'm just uh, just to show you guys the information. I'm gonna add the information into the admin field that we have created. Okay, I'm gonna add the on click. I'm gonna create this method. Okay. And I'm just gonna log out the user similarly that I have done here. So just copy this thing from here, paste it here. Okay, now we are good to go. So let's run this application and see all these thing login things that we have added is going to work or not. So let's run this. Okay, I'm just going to log out from here and uh, log in. So this is the email that I have given and if I click on login nothing is happening here so let me see what happens uh, okay I'm just going to toast this thing first if the login failed we should be able to display some message right so e dot get message I'm just going to get the error message so let me read on this application okay you can see it is displaying that the email is badly formatted so I'm not sure what is the exactly problem here so let me write the email manually okay so uh it is displaying some error here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to debug this application here and check so log i'm going to log the value of the email field okay so email dot get text and convert that to a string all right and put this into the code okay so I'm gonna rerun this and just to check what kind of value I'm getting in this email field because it is saying that the value is uh, uh, badly formatted. So that means we are getting some kind of funky value here. So let's see. I'm going to search by tag. Now I'm going to add the email. Okay, click on login. okay now it says that i'm getting the value one two three four five six instead of here uh, getting the actual email i'm getting one two three four five six okay so i think i have identified the error here and you can see it is highlighting here that I have done some stupid mistake so here I need to give the email actually so login email sorry for that so let's run this again now we should be able to run this application okay we are at the login screen I'm going to give the email address that is actually exist this one does not so let me select this one because if you remember I have the account on this user email right so that's why I'm giving the same email address and give the password six digit password click on login and it says login successfully and you can see we are in the login screen or admin dashboard you can see right so what I'm gonna do now is because we have given the ease admin field here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log out from here create the new normal user and we'll see what happens so click on log out click on create new account so whatever give another address something okay and here now i'm going to create the account and when we do that it's just going to give the ease user field right and it says normal user is logged in okay and that user is normal because we know that by this is user one field 
okay so now what you can do is you can specify all the actions that admin can perform in this admin activity and all the actions that the normal user can perform in normal activity that is main activity so this is how you can identify which user is what from the login screen here and you can uh, let them perform their specific actions and also you also can uh, retrieve that data into the same inactivity and display different kind of things for the different user that is up to you so possibility is unlimited the only thing i have shown you guys is how to identify what kind of user is logging in okay so this was a simple method to identify it and let me know if you want me to do that teacher and student thing you know that will be a more advanced video on access level identification in the firebase okay uh, i think for this i'm going to end this video here because it's going to get too long it's already actually one hour of video at the time of recording here so i'm not going i'm not sure how uh, much that i need to trim out during the post processing but yeah it, it seems it's going to be at least 30 to 40 minutes of video so yeah that was it guys and if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and that is going to help me a lot and uh, don't forget to subscribe because that is the motivation that i count and uh, you know that will motivate me to work harder on much advanced stuff and let me know what you think about these videos and let me know what you want me to create in the future for the new videos and if you have any questions you can join our facebook group facebook page you can message me in the facebook you can message me in the github you can do whole sort of things to connect with me so that i can help you solve your problem so i'll see you there for now bye bye have a good day